What's up, YouTube? It's Blue here, and I'll bring you a Modern Warfare 3 video. Team Deathmatch 6v6. And uh, I'm rocking the new hypersonic lead laser MP7 submachine gun. I like this gun so much, I actually brought it with me on a Prestige. I considered the Type 95, and I think the Type 95 is absurdly beast. But man, check that out. Rapid fire, and I just shot that guy's head off from long distance with a submachine gun. I think this gun has the fastest time to kill pretty much in the game for close range and it actually is comparable long especially with rapid fire. Uh, at the moment I think ideally I'd want to use double attachment with maybe extended mag and rapid fire. I've been using the silencer and it's not bothering me that much. The one advantage of the silencer is this gun has crazy muzzle flash. But I I don't know. And to be honest with you, I don't know if I just have a mild love affair with this gun, if it's not even that good. <laughs> There's always that, you know? I think, you know, let's be honest, we all don't want to use the flavor of the month, you know? And I could probably literally use the Titan 95 in every single game all the time. And be perfectly fine with that. That was a newbie mistake. I should have ducked or fell back more. You notice me flipping my guns, it's using the FMG9s, which give you the horribly bad habit of forcing you to constantly weapon switch. I think this, I thought this guy took a left for a minute. I'm like, where'd he go? I think he, I don't even know if he did or not, to be honest. Um, but, oh, the, do I like this gun? I'm not sure yet. I like that SMGs make you move faster. It's actually only 5% faster. Another newbie mistake there. In my head, I uh, thought... In my head, I was picturing myself healing right as I took the corner. But maybe I was thinking Black Ops speed. And uh, that death right there reminds me of a death I had last night where I had four bars. And I was standing in a doorway looking and ADSing and... Oh, I heard someone over here. I was ADSing and... Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to sound, yeah, sound horror. Uh, on. Um, so I'm ADSing and I don't normally watch a kill cam because I'm kind of a twitchy person that just wants to play, play, play. But, and I don't have blind eyes so I had to jump in the tunnel. I uh, watched the kill cam and I swear the guy took the corner, looked at me, had about five seconds to think about what he was going to do and then shot me. And not one bullet came out of my gun. Even though I'm pretty sure on my end I saw the guy hit the trigger and then died. Um, the connection in this game is horribly confusing, and I almost wonder if they're tricking us. I literally wonder if Infinity War is trying to pull the wool over our eyes by um, giving us the netcode of Black Ops right here. I should have just stopped firing, but whatever, I got the double kill anyway. Switched to my secondary, but I'm fine. Um... Black Ops netcode was bad, you know. You could, it was, I mean, you could. How do I say this? It, there was times when Black Ops connection felt just fine, and it probably was just how slow the guns kill. I feel like in this game though, the guns kill so fast that it can. And that was one of my host migrations. Oh, yeah, yeah. It can mask uh, yeah, you, maybe know. poor netcode, and when you die fast, it's actually lag. You're not actually dying as fast as you think you are sometimes. You know, just like my example, when the, it showed in the kill cam, I didn't fire one bullet, and I'm looking at this guy, or at least in the direction he comes from, and he just appears, takes his time, fires at me, and then... I mean, dude, I, I got good reflexes. <laughs> I trust my reflexes in this game to know that if I see a guy, I'll fire at least as fast as the guy that shoots. You know? Here goes another host migration. And here goes, this is the point of the video. I love in Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirm to use the Jug Suit. To be honest with you, I, I could make this work in any mode. Your teammates can see that radar on the top left. And the only time I die is if I get surrounded. Which, the only time I really get surrounded is uh, if my team is really, really, really bad. You know, like 7 and 25 bad. But uh, otherwise, I pretty much never die in this suit. Uh, you can always pull out the shield, which isn't an option in the uh, assault suit. 
it's guaranteed you're gonna get it. You just gotta keep the kills flowing, which I pretty much always get the suit. The trick is how quick can you get it. I've heard you get about 500 uh, health in this thing, so I try to pistol first. <coughs> and then, uh, there's two hits for this thing, but I wounded that last guy. Um, wonder if, thing, if there's anything I'm missing talking about. The FMG 9s, not sure I'm a fan yet. They have retardedly amazing time to kill at medium range or close range. But you almost have to burst them because they kind of go out of control if you uh, ooh, got a sweet little double kill there. Come on, admit, how demoralizing would you would you think that is? I'd be mad. Go a little rampage here. Uh, this video is wrapping up though. Really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really struggling to put videos out because when I get home I want to play the two most popular first person shooters in a long time. I mean, these, these games are just insanely popular. I just really frustrated with the connection issues.